So, Carmen Rider Leaks, episode 34. I mean, Carmen Rider Gates, episode 34. So, if you don't know the story about this episode, it leaked, like, on the exact same day as episode 33, because someone, I believe the companies who stream it, they pushed the wrong button, and it went to stream at the exact same time on their on-demand service as episode 33. And it was out there. A lot of people saw it. I didn't see it until, actually, the day it aired. So, today, I was too busy to actually check out and I think people were too scared to sub it due to the wrath of Toei and the Titans they keep locked underground in the depths of the earth so people were scared to unleash the Toei Titans if they dared to sub and publicly sort of put this episode out in the open um but yeah it's out now I watched it and I enjoyed it I think this was an all right episode this episode kind of flew by for me but it's also setting up the brand new story arc, the Desire Royale. So basically the concept from the Gates and Revice and Ryuki movie, they're bringing that concept from the movie into the show, which I tried watching that movie and I struggled to make it past the uh, Revice section of it. It felt like the movie was moving a little bit too slowly for me when I watched it. Maybe I'll have to watch it again, um, but yeah, the pacing felt like a little bit slow for me, especially with the Revice section of it. But hey, maybe I'll finish it eventually. But if you want to check out what the uh, Desire Rail is about, uh, check out that movie to sort of understand the concept. It's basically the concept from Ryuki where the last writer standing will get their wish granted and they'll be able to reshape the world in their format. So basically it's become Fortnite and PUBG in Kamen Rider Geats. Now some big things happened in this episode, a couple of big things. The first one we see was where it picked up from last week where Ace was suddenly revived and people are questioning it and Ace is like, I don't know, I have no idea what's going on here. But Ace quickly turns on Chirimi and basically blasts his ass into oblivion. He almost got the kill, but Buffer stole it because Buffer basically just drove a chainsaw through that guy and killed the dude. I mean, he went out in style, Chirimi. He couldn't do the worm to get out of this one, that is for sure. This episode also saw the revival of Kawa, but also Kawa's sister is now a Carmen writer, which a lot of people were predicting and speculating that she would become a writer. I was like, nah, she's like the biggest side of side characters. No way she's going to become a writer. I mean, she's barely even around, but she's been brought into the game this far into the show, which is interesting to have a brand new participant into the game this far into the show, which we'll probably see more, no doubt about it, with all those people that picked up the boxes. But Seeing Kawa's sister, Sarah, become a, a, a participant in the Desire Rail is quite the interesting thing because this is a character that is definitely out of a league. You saw that in the episode where she tried fighting Daichi and she got basically smacked around and almost killed in her debut episode until she was saved at the last minute by Geats and Kawa. Well, mostly Geats because Geats zoomed in there to save the day. But I can tell what she's going to be here for now that Kay was back in the game where Kay were is basically on his mindset that he doesn't like the goddess, he thinks the goddess is a bad person, he's not a fan of Geats' mum, and Geats is like, hey, my mum's a good person, don't talk bad about her, I'll show you, and Kay was like, nah, -uh, I'll show you, um, so we're gonna have that, so Kay was still has his ambition that he doesn't like what the goddess did, with the revelation we learnt, like, a couple of episodes ago, where, uh, people's misery becomes people's happiness, and something like that, they repeated it like five times in the episode but uh seeing Kawa make his debut back so soon is really interesting but not only that Kekora is scheming something because you have this episode where we actually see him in person for the first time in forever since he made his debut when he got the henshin and he's being kind of a mischievous frog in this episode where he's working with Bebera and he sort of gives her the motivation to revive Kawa so Kawa's back in the game but not only that he's also the one that pushes 
pushes Kawa's sister to sort of become a writer. He's the one who pushes Kawa to become a writer again and jump into the game. And he's sort of talking to Bebera in this episode where they're just chilling in Kawa's little apartment. And he says, this would make for good drama and character motivation. Something like that. Like That seems like his motivation. It will be more dramatic as you have siblings in the game and it could take an interesting turn. So he's sort of got that mindset where for the longest time he's said he's K was number one fan and now he's sort of doing that whole manipulative act where he's like, oh, this is going to be really cool when shit goes down. Have a seat. It's going to be really cool. Um, but yeah, I'm like, he's got strange motivations in this episode, but he probably did it for like what he viewed as a good reason to get Kawa back in the game. So that way other characters have a chance of winning. I don't think he wants to see Kawa dead if he's his number one fan. A lot of people have been speculating that Kakoda is Kawa's father um, or someone Kawa knows from like the alternate timeline or the future timeline. So that's something that's really uh, curious as well to find out what this guy is all about because we haven't really learned what he's fully about just yet. So I wonder when that's going to be. Now, where was I before I went on 50 other tangents? Oh yeah, I believe that Sarah is going to be the one that sort of leads Kawa from going astray with his whole revenge plot against the Goddess of Desire. And I feel like she's going to be one that pulls him out of the darkness or whatever you want to call it and will probably lead to him getting his next big power up if he's going to get one because Kawa is kind of the second rider so he's got to get a secondary power up soon because we're on episode 34 right now so he's got to get it eventually and if we don't see it soon then who knows when we'll see it next scans whenever they want to drop something like either this month or next month but what are my overall thoughts with this episode I had fun with it it's mostly setting up this brand new game where it's going to be a free-for-all last man standing kind of game but not only that looking at next week's episode it also looks like there's going to be different kind of games sort of like it's the desire grand prix again so uh we could be seeing stuff like that in the episode because it looks like if they do certain tasks and they get certain wishes to eliminate certain players so seeing how characters like Daichi are back I can see Daichi getting eliminated soon so that character can get his comeuffins because the dude is such an arsehole but not only that we've also got to worry about buffer where Carmen Riders can't defeat him, but Jamato can. So keep that in mind. If that's something you gotta keep in the back of your head. Now I am curious to see where the show is going to go moving forward because we're on episode 34 and within the next couple of months we'll find out what the next series is going to be but that's a story for another day but yeah I am curious to see where these next 16 to 15 episodes are going to go as we get closer to the end of the show. I don't know if it's going to be 50 episodes or 48 um, but yeah we're getting closer to the end so I am curious to see how this show is going to end and what the finale is going to be like as we're in the Desire Royale and how all the gears and the turning pieces are going to move so we'll see what happens later down the line but anyway guys what did you think of episode 34 of Kamen Rider Geats love it hate it tell me in the comment section down below I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions with that said I'm out of here. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Take care. Bye.